Can we get cuter with science? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now most of us go crazy when we see a cute puppy, a baby, or a kitten, right? I mean, if you don't, you might be pretty unusual because what humans perceive as cute is actually a scientifically backed phenomenon. That's right. Finding something cute is a natural biological response. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. And there's studies to prove it. So today, we're gonna put one of those studies to good use by figuring out how strong our cute IQ is. Our IQ. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. It's time for Who's the Cutest Thing in the World? You are, yes you are, yes you are the cutest little thing in the whole wide world. Research, the science of cuteness. In simplest of terms, humans are biologically wired to perceive certain traits as cute, and the concept of baby schema. Oh, you baby heard of this? Schema. Baby schema refers to a set of infantile traits that humans respond strongly to. Yes, yeah, so and when we see things with those infantile traits, we are wired to actually want to protect and care for the creature. You know, those traits signal to our brains that the creature possessing them can't really take care of itself. It needs to be protected. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have that strong reaction when we see these creatures. It might be like a human baby, or a dog with baby-like features, or even an adult with puppy-like features. Oh. Of course, uh, these traits exist on a spectrum. Some babies can have more traditionally infantile traits than others, and depending on how strong these traits appear in these organisms, it can actually help predict how they will get treated by us humans. Mm. Hmm. And since we're naturally right to respond to those traits, the crew should, in theory, be able to predict what we think is the cutest stuff. If we're right? normal. Uh, but will we actually align with science? Stevie, what's about to happen to us? In today's experiment, we're taking inspiration from a study done by the School of Psychology at the University of Lincoln in the UK. We'll show you a series study of me. image sets. Each set will contain two versions of the same me. image. However, one of the images will have had a specific part of it slightly altered to make it more or less cute, according to science. Using your immediate gut reactions, I want each of you to tell me what you think is cuter in each set. After we've gone through all the images, we'll go back through and talk about your choices and whether or not they're in line with the science. And it's not really a game, but we still felt you both needed a, a prize at the end. So Thank you. we're gonna show you the cutest possible Rhett and Link imaginable according to your own cute preferences that we're about to learn. Oh. So, okay. are, are you understand the 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 yeah this part? Okay. So, yeah. whatever's cutest, I'm holding up the number. But I think we're going to be tempted to make observations in the moment, like to make observations vocally, and I think we should keep ourselves from doing that because we'll influence. Oh, they, ah, well, no, me. you'll be like, oh, its eyes are bigger. Like if you say that, then I'll know that, and it. Correct. I just want to be like. Just like like a robot, just like a robot that just determines what thing is cuter. Just mm, mm, mm. okay. I might make those noises. One, mm, well, mm, like a mm, human, mm, like a like a like a human robot. Point, but yeah. Um, okay, you have your paddles. One or two. Your photos start now. Okay. See, look, I'm not saying anything except the fact that I'm not saying anything. Oh, I just went to the last one. What's the difference? <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> I can't tell the difference. What is the difference? <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm just, all right. I know it's not the game, but. Yeah, it's not, it's not obvious what's happening. the people. Hey. Okay. <laughs> What's the difference? Ew. <laughs> I have to abstain from this one. Okay. 
This is the quietest episode we've ever done. I know, it's making me great driving down. I know, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I don't know who's cute. What's the difference? Okay, you have now assessed Woo! all available cute Man. comparisons. Your IQ will now be tabulated. All right, what are we doing in the, in the meantime? I, the, I feel like there was a few places where I could tell that the uh, if the eyes were bigger, I could tell the eyes were bigger. Yeah, sometimes I could tell there was a hat involved. I don't know if you noticed. And then sometimes there was a slightly elongated or scrunched overall face and and most of the time I couldn't tell the difference. And it wasn't like I don't know which one's I don't know which one's cuter, which I think my theory is that I don't have a very good IQ. Hey, quick reminder, we want to invite you to go over to the Mythical Kitchen channel and watch the last meals series. They're mm. on they're all great. And the latest one's got They're Brittany deep. Broski over there talking about life, death, and her favorite foods. It's a joy for everybody, even though it involves sometimes an existential crisis. Sometimes you gotta talk about those things. Yeah, so check it out on the Mythical Kitchen channel. Okay, so the first set of infantile traits we tested on you slyly was eye size. Bigger eyes are a yeah. more infantile trait. So according to science, you should have been more drawn to the pictures with bigger eyes. Mm -hmm. And now we had three sets of photos testing for eyes throughout. And Rhett, you picked bigger eyes three out of three times. And Link, you picked bigger eyes two out of three times. Oh, you don't like the big eyes that much, or not as much as me. Well, mm -hmm. I like, <laughs> I remember her this this redheaded gal, I don't know something like something about her eyes squinting was just very cute to me. <laughs> okay, so but like both of you chose the majority bigger eyes, so technically you're you're aligning with science as far okay. I'd say. We're still normal. Hey, nothing to be nothing to be scared of. <laughs> no reason to panic. <laughs> Okay, the next infantile trait we tested on you was about head size and shape. A larger, rounder head is a more infantile trait. Therefore, it should have been what you found cuter. Yeah. Rhett, over the sets of images with these traits we gave you, you picked the bigger, rounder head two out of three times. Okay. Missed one. Yeah. And Link, you chose it one out of three times. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Okay. So you I chose actually it with preferred the, cat. the smaller I know. head. So I think that, first of all, okay, hold on. So go back to that first guy. You're saying that number two is the bigger head, right? Because it's like. No, number one's the bigger head. Well, the number, yeah, number I said number one is No, cuter. number two is the bigger head. But bigger, the, his face is wider on the number two. But it made his eyes smaller. It also made his like jaw really like square, which makes him less cute, right? For me. Yep, me too. <laughs> yeah. You know me, I don't have much of a chin. And then so. the next one. It's cute no matter what you look I mean, at. that's a cute baby both sides. But the one number one's got a bigger head. We've got cute babies on both sides. Right? <laughs> yeah, number eyes. two Number two has a bigger head. Okay. So we're on the edge here with science. We're I an would edge say. case. It's an edge case. Well, more you more, more so than me. I'm pretty, I'm pretty consistent, man. I'm pretty consistent. Well, what, the third thing is in the eye of the beholder. I'm not gonna protect these strangers. Nose size. Oh. So a smaller nose is a more infantile trait. You yeah. should have found it cuter if the science holds up. I like a big uh, nose now. Again, three sets of images. Rhett, you chose the smaller nose one out of three times. Yeah, yeah, I like You a, like, you I like, like a big I'll, nose? I'll take a big nose any day. And you Link, you also chose one out of three times. Oh yeah, you did too, man. So you both prefer I couldn't a tell. Nose. Really? Because on this one, I, did, oh, I picked no one on that one. I picked the bigger nose. Yeah, because the smaller nose is cuter. Oh. Yeah. You're supposed to think the smaller nose is cuter. But I don't know about that. First of all, I wasn't thinking about animals. That smaller nose is not cuter. Like, that baby's having trouble breathing. <laughs> yeah, it's too small. That sm too small, nose guys. is too small. It's just not cuter. We just know. knew there was something, like, potentially wrong and concerning about this baby yeah. situation. Okay, so science is getting a little less... Uh, Accurate as we go on that, here. That that's the right way. That's to right. Say Science it. is Science, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Increasingly wrong. 
As we get right or science Listen, gets wrong. That's how you be a real American. Well, I told you at the end you get a prize anyway, so okay. we'll go with that. Okay. Um, next, it's all about mouth size. A smaller mouth is a more infantile trait. So smaller mouths should be cuter. Again. I like a big old mouth. You both only chose the smaller mouth one out of three times. I like a big mouth too. Because well, it needs like to be mouth. fair. I have a small mouth. It has like to be fair mouth. and that little baby mouth. Oh. oh, that cat has that, a smaller mouth? And that dude? What about thumb size, though? <laughs> That's really what I care about. A, a small thumb is so cute on a big old man. Well, it, lastly, the most important trait that we tested was one of our own. Can you guess what it was? One of our own traits? Yeah, one of our own made up traits. Oh, the hat. Yes. The we tiny top hat, which is a little <laughs> joke, but somehow, Link, you chose it two out of three times, <laughs> and not yeah. three out of three times. Honestly, I was, I, it was very cute, and then it just dropped off. Like, I got tired of those hats. So hold on, so what, which hat, you didn't like the hat on the baby? I didn't like the hat on the third one. That was the baby, I believe. Yeah, I, I know it was the puppy, and... Um, no, that's the first one. Oh, and then, no, I liked it on the snake. It was the baby that was, that baby was cute without a hat. You don't need to the try that The baby doesn't hard. need a hat. The baby, cute. yeah, so I was like, nope. Okay, nope. so. And you made that up. There's no science involved in putting a top hat on it. Yeah, we didn't include that in the in, in the finale, oh, but uh, your picks were at aligned with science three out of five times, so te technically a majority. And Link, uh, yours two out of five times. Okay, so you're, you know, you might, you're just I a don't, little less normal. I don't know what cute is. It's fine. It's fine. Does that mean I'm not a good protector? Well, let's see how it yes. applies on, um, you know, I teased the prize. We were live, and by we, I don't mean me, I mean Twinkie Fingies and, and Chappie were live photoshopping. Uh -huh. uh, what you each would look like based on your own personal cute preferences, your okay. own eye cutes. Uh, let's let's take a look. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, look at Red. He's got the big old eyes. That's a cute boy. And he's got the big head on That's his head. That's a cute, cute boy. I want to protect him. <laughs> at all costs. Oh, oh, there's, my. <laughs> there's me. You look, I got a hat too, dude, boy. You, you look like you don't have a soul, man. <laughs> you look like you. Oh, I look my. like one of, there's these stuffed animals with really big eyes you can buy at the airport. That's what I am, sitting on a rack, and everybody's just trying to get to their next destination. Yeah, like, man, like, Forgetting if, you, about if you make eye contact with that guy for too long. Have you seen those, like, vintage sad clown paintings? Yes. And that's kind of what, that's kind of what <laughs> That's my look favorite like. style of art. Yeah, can you, can you go a step further and vintage clown me? All right, yeah, give us a second. <laughs> <laughs> what did we learn? Don't I'm, count on me to protect you. Yeah, I will protect you. And I will protect little big-eyed Rhett. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mythical Beast Jack from Ogden, Utah, and I just graduated from obedience school. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. That dog learned how to talk at obedience school. Well, that's, that's Telepathic. cool, Telepathically. That's cool. He also winked, did you see that? Uh, it's very cute. Click the top link to watch us match the crew to what's inside their purses. And to find out where the Willamette Cali is gonna land. You're a Southern gal and you're drinking Pepsi. You know what's worse too is I have a Coke tattoo. <laughs> what's wrong? You should. You need. Don't tell to... nobody. Okay. <laughs> Keep that to yourself.